Hey guys, Nisk here. Okay, this time we're going to install the driver. Okay. Um, I'm using the NVIDIA graphics card, so I'm going to be installing the NVIDIA uh, graphics driver. If you're using ATI, please uh, please skip the step because um, I'm obviously using a different graphics card. Um, as a matter of fact, we're going to be installing the NVIDIA CUDA uh, developer driver. Um, because I do CUDA and I want to install that one. But this step will work for both the normal one and the NVIDIA one. Uh, so anyway, let's get started. As you can see, my graphics card is currently unknown. Oh, that's a bit of a lie. I actually already installed it, but it's, I just didn't put in the name. But the point is, I'll show you exactly how to do it. Open up your Firefox. Don't mind that, it's my channel. Okay, so actually, I'm going to put a link in your video description so you can just uh, click straight to the driver you want and find it and download it, okay? But just in case, uh, just go on video CUDA and go for CUDA downloads, and that should give you the driver there. So, um, depending on which one system you're using, either 32 bit or 64 bit. And you can also download this thing, but the toolkit for whichever distribution you're using. I'm actually going to use the 11.04, it should work fine, and the SDK. But it's up to you, just to get the driver in the downloads folder or whichever folder depends it's up to you I'll be using the download one okay so next step is sorry it's a bit late um, yeah so we want to install some basic stuff um, essentially again I'm gonna put the command into the description uh, so you have to actually type it in, but I do. Actually, you know what? I'll have it somewhere there in my history. Oh dear. Don't mind this, don't mind this. It's somewhere here. It's two lines. Cause there we go. That's the stuff I installed, okay? So I can speak, if I hit that again, it will try to install again, but it's already installed. Um, as I said, this stuff, it's in the description. Just copy and paste it into the terminal. Uh, to copy, you just use Control C in the YouTube video or in the browser. But to paste it, you need uh, Control Shift V to paste it in. And the same for uh, copying anything from the terminal, or you can just right-click on the mouse, copy and paste the standard stuff. Okay. Um, next up, next thing is a little bit different. Um, what you want to do is blacklist some old drivers and drivers that you don't need to make sure your system doesn't use them at point of time. Uh, I'm going to be using the gedit. It's installed by default with the Ubuntu so it should be fine. Um, okay, modprob I think it was. modprob.com, no, dot .d for directory and blacklist.conf uh, black find that soon enough. Okay, boom. Um, so, go to the bottom of the file and essentially add this stuff. Just where I did it there. Anything before, after um, the hash is a comment, so it doesn't matter. You can put in comments if you want, like I did. Uh, but essentially just add these things up to the end of the file. Again, I'm going to put them in the video description so you don't have to do won't we'll have to worry about uh, typing them in. Yeah, just save the file and so just make sure you have sudo in front of the text area name. Now, um, the next thing you want to do is sudo apt oh, apt get remove and you're going to purge everything that's to do with the NVIDIA because we're doing a fresh install. Now, I'm not going to do that because I already have the driver installed and I do not want to risk messing things up. But essentially, just type that in, click enter. Uh, it might ask you for like, do you want to remove this stuff? Just click Y or uh, enter yes or Y for yes and click enter. Just wait for it to finish. It might take a while. 
because it has to re uh generate the boo kernel ish. Just it might take a while. The point is just type that in and click enter, okay. Um Okay, after this you need to research a machine. But don't do it just yet because I have to explain you what you're gonna do next. And I can show you this in the video. Um Okay. Once you're gonna restart, uh go and get your login screen again. The graphics gonna be a lot worse because we removed all the drivers that we don't need. Um basically what you're gonna do is don't bother logging in, first of all. Enter the virtual terminal by pressing control. Um I'll tap it in for you. Just press control uh alt that key combination on your keyboard, okay? You're gonna the screen is gonna go black and it's gonna be just text or terminal. And just log in with your user information um and password. Then follow the commands I listed in the video description. Uh basically you're just gonna stop the graphic dis graphic desktop manager and then you're gonna navigate to folder in which you um into which you download the driver and you're gonna install it. Uh hopefully you shouldn't have any problems. If you do please leave a comment so I can address them. But essentially that's it. All the command all the codes or all the commands are gonna be in the video description. So you can just read that and write them down maybe if you don't have any other machines to look them at. Look at them on. My apologies, I'm really tired. Um yeah. Essentially once you do that, uh run the driver, follow the prompts, make sure you do install the twenty two bit libraries and make sure you do allow the NVIDIA to change the XARC configuration file, which will allow um uh, your system to use the new drivers next time it's booted up. Okay? Okay, um, then you just boot your machine and you should be good to go with your new driver. Um, thanks for watching the video. Please like uh, and comment if there's anything wrong or if you liked it. And of course, subscribe if you want to see my videos. Okay, thanks.